Is my Toyota Tacoma jack extension dangerous? And does it even work? Let's find out. Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So is my jack extension, my homemade jack extension dangerous? Does it even work? Well, first of all, let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, I have a lifted Tacoma, so I needed a way to use the stock jack, which is sitting right here. Just a simple cheapo bottle jack, right? So I made a jack extension, which right now is sitting in the back of the truck, secured right there in that area. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off, and I'm gonna jack up the front of the truck. We're gonna see how it works. Did it actually give me enough clearance? To be able to change a flat tire, we're going to find out. Let's go ahead and get this thing off. Well, there was the first test. That's the first time I've taken it off. Uh, since I put it on there. Um, I can access it from the side of the truck there as you guys saw so that's a good thing Obviously to put it back on probably gonna have to get in the bed I don't know, but I'm hoping to never have to use it to be honest, but let's go ahead We'll get the uh, bottle jack all out the tools all that stuff there And then uh, we'll crawl underneath the truck here and see if indeed I can jack the truck up with my homemade jack extension Okay, first off, let's go ahead and get these tools out of here. I have this handy dandy little pouch thing that they give you. I don't know how many of these extensions we're going to need. I can't imagine all of them, but we'll see. That's everything. So, i to put this thing together a little bit, I guess. Just stick the ends in there, right? That's pretty simple. There, we're ready to go. Of course, if you don't know, there's a little slot in the wrench here. It just fits over the edge, or the end rather, like so. And then you use this to rotate your jack. So, let's go over to the jack. Okay, down here under the truck, got my jack extension and my jack. Let's go ahead. We're going to set it right over my little nub I put on here for that. That's how it's going to sit. And then we're going to raise this up, looking under the truck. And I'm thinking that the jacking point is right here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, right in this area. It's kind of hard to tell from the directions. Uh, they're not real clear, but I believe it's this area right here. Uh, that's what we're going to use. I think you probably could go here. I don't know. But we're going to jack right here at this point. So let me unwind this thing. Let's see if I can do it by hand. Go the right way. Be nice if you had like a, I don't know, a drill or something, I suppose, to be able to turn this thing uh, electrically, because it's going to take forever to do it that way. I think I'm going to set you guys down. I'm going to use the handle to do it and see if we can't speed this process up. Uh, of course, it'll be sped up for you guys because I'll fast forward it. So let me go ahead and get this thing turning. Okay, got it turned out a bit. Man, it takes a lot. This thing is high. Right there's where I'm gonna put it. Again, looks like the right spot. I'm not positive, but that's where it looks like it needs to go according to the directions that I saw. Okay, we've made contact. There you go. You can see it is in contact. Look how far that thing is extended. Maybe that's normal, I don't know. But now I'm going to go ahead and uh, see about jacking the truck a bit. Hopefully you'll see the tire move off the ground a little bit without any screaming, yelling, or insanity. Here we go.
All right, let's take a look at it. There you guys go. You can see it up there. Oops. Right up there. Looks good. We've almost got the tire up, I think. Let's see. Let's go a little further. Oh, real quick. I do have it uh, blocked there in the back. You guys can see against the back wheel. So I think we're safe there. Let's go ahead and keep turning. Okay, the tire is off the ground. I'm gonna flip you guys around upside down. Hopefully I'll fix that in the camera for this video, but there. The tire is off the ground, just barely. There's the extension on the jack. Uh, we do have some left. Uh, worked pretty well, nothing funky, nothing crazy. Let me go just a little bit higher. There, went just a little bit higher. Uh, again, the tire is off the ground. You guys can see right there. So, I think it is a success. We could change the tire. Um, I would have to go a little higher, obviously, if I was on uneven, you know, terrain. Um, right now, I'm happen to be on a garage floor. So it's pretty simple. I might have to go even higher, but it is extended pretty far. I don't know that we're uh, stressing the jack at all, but you can see how high uh, it's extended there, or how far. Again, it does work. Uh, so no real concern there. Um, let's go ahead and lower it back down, make sure that goes okay. I don't know why it wouldn't, but let's find out. All right, there we go. We've now got all the pressure relieved. Um, the truck is back on the ground. You can see there. There is the distance between the top of the jack and the base of the truck, I guess. So, bottom line, does it work? Yeah, it works. Um, I don't know that having the truck lifted now that I have my extension on there uh, is really any different than it would be if I didn't have the truck lifted and then didn't have the extension. It does, uh, it does extend pretty far out. I'm actually a little surprised uh, that it takes that long to get it extended all the way up. It did seem a bit excessive to me, but nonetheless, it did jack the tire up. I would have been able to change that tire. Um, am I confident in it? Yeah, I guess I'm as confident as I am um, in any bottle type or scissor jack. You know, if I had uh, some kind of a floor jack or something like that, I uh, probably would be a little more secure in it, to be honest. As far as is my uh, homemade jack extension dangerous, I would say not. I didn't hear any cracking, nothing crazy. Um, it didn't slip. It didn't fly out of there once I had, you know, pressure on it. Uh, it did work really well. I'm happy with it. Um, if you wanted, you know, to shorten the distance, obviously you could go with another board under there. You know, I may do that eventually. I'm not sure really. Um, I think this is probably sufficient and all another board is going to do me is give uh, another inch and a half. So it's not like it's going to be, you know, some huge change or make me have to raise that jack a little bit less. Um, it's only probably about four or five turns of the jack equivalent anyway, so I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it the way it is. I think it came out awesome. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my jack extension. Do you think it's dangerous? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator right out there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.